Hello and welcome to the GeoRGB community. Let me tell you that the other day I was observing this image from Google Earth. This is a satellite imagery taken by the US satellite NOAA. And what we have here is the map of the USA with the light. This kind of map is related with the night. And as bigger is the brilliant area, associated with the light, bigger is going to be the density of the population. Then I decided to use this kind of concept to create a similar map, but now about Canada. Then I'm going to use the transport network, the Canadian transport network, in order to do a similar map. We are going to use the road infrastructure to identify the areas with higher density population. Then it's going to be something very similar to this map, but instead to use the light at nine, we are going to use the row system of Canada. Before to start the map, let me tell you that you can follow us in the Facebook page. Also, you can visit us at the GeoRGB community website at gscoursedoc.online. I'm going to leave the links at the video description. Okay, let's go to start and see how we can make this amazing map. Today we are going to learn how to create the brilliant map of Canada. To do that one, we are going to download two different shape files. First, the provinces and territories of Canada, and the second one is going to be the Canadian Transport Network. Let's go to download this one first. I have the links over here. I'm going to leave these links at the video description, and I already low added the websites. The first one is going to be this one, then press and download. Okay. And I'm going to cut this one over here and paste in the folder I created in my desktop. Is this folder over here. Then paste. Now I am going to download the second one. Is this website over here and it's going to be the Canadian Transport uh, Networks and it's going to be for the scale 1 million. We are looking for this one is the shape file then download and 1 million for all Canada. Open the containing folder and I'm going to cut from here and paste on my folder. Now the next step is to extract the information. I created two folders then I'm going to put this one inside here and this one inside the other one over here double click to open and i'm going to extract here start here and also for the other one double click extract here okay that's it now we are going to load the shape files. First, we are going to define what is going to be the reference coordinate systems, then go here, project, properties. And in this case, we are going to use the UTM WGS uh, SOM 14 North. And then the code is 32613. Is this one. And it is not important, you know, the reference coordinate systems in this case is just for aesthetics. OK, apply and OK. Now we are going to load the shape files. It has to be vector Then open here. Let's go to the desk. I have the folder over there. Brilliant map, double click provinces and territories. And it's going to be this layer over here. Open and add. Close. Okay, the reference coordinate systems change. Let's go to set up again this one. Apply and OK. 
Okay, now it's better. Also, we are going to load the other file related with the Canadian Transport Network. Is this folder? Double click, open this one, and in this case, it's going to be the. Let me see the segment. This one over here, road segment segment one. Open and add. Close. Now let's go to make some additions on the colors. Then first for the roads properties, I want this line to be 0.1, and I'm going to change also the color. Then choose a color, and I'm going to use an a specific combination. I'm going to copy from here, copy and paste over here. Paste is going to be this combination of color. Then OK. And also we are going to make some modifications here at the render layer. Then open this one and it's going to be a hard light and hard light also over here. Then apply and OK. And for the other one, what we are going to do here is to change also the color. And we are going to select also a specific one. Choose a color, and in this case, it's going to be this combination. Paste, as you can see, OK. And also, we are going to change the extra here for a different color. And in this case, the combination is going to be this one. Let me paste over here. You can choose any color, OK? That's up to you. Paste, but I decided to use this kind of combination. Then apply and OK. As you can see now, the map is a little bit brilliant, but we have to do some modifications. Now we want to add some outer glow to the perimeter of Canada, but for do that one, we need just one feature. But in this case, what happened, if we open the attribute table, we have one feature for each province and territories. Then what we want is to have just one feature for all Canada. Then to do that one, we are going to go to vector, geometry tools and we are going to use dissolve then we are going to add the layer of Canada province and we are going to save here we have to make sure that we have here the shape file and it's going to be dissolve then save and run close and now we have just one feature for all Canada as you can see open the attribute table just one okay then we are going to move to the bottom and we are going to apply some modifications here properties i want this one to be totally black I'm going to move this one over here and also i am going to apply some draw effects then click here and go to here then at source is going to be a hard light go here hard light and okay and for the outer, we are going to add also some modifications. Here is going to be one, and here is going to be also one, and I want this one at 50%, but I'm going to change this color. Then I'm going to pick up a color that is going to be this combination. Okay, and it is going to be also hard color or hard light. Then okay, and apply, and okay. The next step is to create a print layout composition. It's going to be number one. OK. And let's go to bring the map over here. Then press this option over here. And we are going to make this size. Uh, here, as you can see, if we go to properties, we have this dimension of the size. OK. Then go to the map. I'm going to cover all the area. And I'm going to move this one to the middle. And the scale is going to be here 5. This one is going to be 5. And the rest is going to be zeros. Then it's going to be 2, 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. OK. And then that one is good. We can see everything here. Then the next step is to change the background. We are going to go here at uh, the background and we are going to choose a different color. Then in this case could be a gray, something like that. 
maybe this one that one looks good and that's it then the next step is to export this one as an image i'm going to save in this folder that one is good save and this resolution is good and save now we can open the image and see how it looks like double click to open and we have the map of canada with the road densities and here as you can see the areas that are more brilliant are associated with a uh, high population high density population here we have vancouver here we have calgary edmonton here we have victoria winnipeg saskatoon regina toronto ottawa montreal and edc okay thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video